terrified freshman, I for one never thought this day would come. In reality, now that it's here, I think we can all agree that the past four years have flown by. We never realized it then, but looking at where we first started so long ago and where we are today, it is clear that high school presented us with an opportunity. An opportunity to grow, to make everlasting memories, and to gain either the knowledge necessary for those of us who are continuing our education or experience for those of us who are now entering the workforce. For lack of a better term, we are now a part of the real world. At this moment in our lives, we have mixed emotions. Our number one thought is, finally. However, as the excitement of the graduating phase, we left with uncertainty about our future. We can be certain, however, that high school has prepared us for what we may encounter in our lives in more ways than one. As students, we learned how to write grammatically correct essays, how to solve challenging math problems, and how to balance ridiculously long chemical equations. We also learned that 8 to 10 pages really meant 7 and a half. But a squared plus b squared equals c squared meant we were in trouble because math now included the alphabet. And no matter how many C's, H's, or O's you added, the chemical equation never seemed to balance. In developing these valuable skills, we learned something much greater. We learned how to make decisions, how to get jobs, and how to survive on our own without the help of others. As we leave this school today, the members of the graduating class of 2013 will go in all different directions. Some of us have made plans for the future, while others have not. Some of us know exactly where we want to be in 10 years, and some of us do not know where we'll be tomorrow. It's okay not to know, as long as you move in some direction. Our parents, teachers, and friends haven't been lying to us all these years. It really is a big, scary world out there, and all sorts of terrible things can happen. We need to know that there is usually a risk and a reward involved in all that we do. And we need to have the courage to know the difference between risky and worthwhile. People miss 100% of the chances they don't take. This is something I encourage us all to remember as we leap into the next adventure in our lives. Knowing our risk involved in all that you do is one thing, but missing opportunities because you're afraid to take a chance is another. Be courageous. It's easier to correct your mistakes than it is to get rid of regrets. As I close, there's one last thing that I want to share. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, set yourself earnestly to discover what you are made to do and then give yourself passionately to the doing of it. I'll have to agree that by saying my personal philosophy is to experiment, to discover what makes you happy, and then to dedicate yourself to it. The things that you want in life don't always come easy. You have to work for them. This last year especially, I have learned that most of the time, the only person looking out for your dreams and your goals is you. Never stop fighting for what you deserve. If there's one thing that I want to hold on to as I embark on my future is this. Grasp every opportunity with outstretched arms and hold on tightly. Remember that occasionally you have to open your own doors. And finally, when you think you've hit rock bottom, just remember where you've been, embrace where you're at, and look forward to where you're going next. Honestly, no situation is ever as bad or as hopeless as it may seem. I have confidence in myself and in the graduating class of 2013. Wherever life takes us, I hope it will make the best of every situation. I encourage you to always remember the friends and the memories that you've made here. And most importantly, I encourage you to strive to be the people you want to be, to travel to the places you want to go, and to never sacrifice your happiness in doing so. Congratulations and good luck to us all. How do we, the class of 2013, even begin to thank all of the people who have impacted our lives? It is only because of our parents, teachers, coaches, and friends that we have become high school graduates with big hopes and even bigger dreams. These hopes and dreams would not have been made possible without our parents. Our parents have sacrificed their time to drive us to sporting events, help us with homework, and keep us on the right path. The same parents who took the time to instill good morals and values into our hearts. Not only our parents, but our families have worked hard the past 18 years to raise us in such a way that we can be successful. So to all the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, grandparents, and relatives, thank you for your support. Although our families were and always will be our main supporters, they had help raising us. The times our families were not there to help us, the teachers stepped in. Whether we had a question about homework or needed someone to confide in, our teachers have went above and beyond. They have provided us with direction, stability, wisdom, and most importantly, the tools we need to reach our goals. Our teachers
teachers have dedicated their lives to our education, and we are forever grateful for that. Lastly, I would like to recognize my friends and classmates for making this year of my life the most memorable for this chapter. Sometimes I did not need advice from my parents or help from my teachers, but I needed a friend, someone who understood what I was going through along the way. My classmates and I have shared laughter, tears, hardships, and great triumphs over the years. But today is different. Today we share a celebration. We would not be graduating today, May 25th, 2013, without the help of all our supporters. This is only the beginning of our lifelong journey, but your contributions will never be forgotten. Thank you. Clayton Urban. 